How's it going, guys? It's Max HP. Uh, doing something a little different. This is more of a uh, discussion video about uh, Fire Emblem Warriors. Some news just came out from Famitsu. Uh, is that how you pronounce it? Famitsu Magazine? I believe so. Uh, yes. And I, with me is my special guest. Introduce yourself. Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Blazing Knight. Nice to meet you all. Yes. Uh, the reason he's here is because we did a video on his channel a while back, back when the game was first announced at the Nintendo Direct. Uh, if you want to go and watch that video, that will be in the description, in, as it'll be a link, uh, and also be at the end card of this video. But now we're here to talk about... Um, All the, the information that we've um, received. Yes. Some of it good. Most a of good it bad. portion of it bad. <laughs> uh, so why don't we go through this uh, point by point? So yeah. first okay. of all, it, first the first thing that we have is this image from the Famitsu magazine, which shows two new original characters for the game. Uh, let me pull up their names real quick. Uh, the names are Shion and Lian. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if that's the correct pronunciation. It'll it might change in the English version. We'll see. Yeah. Uh, but those I'm, are the new characters. Uh, I like to call them Discount Alphonse and Discount Sharina. I was thinking the same thing. They even kind of yeah. look similar. They do. Well, at least Sharina does. I don't know. Alphonse kind of has that whole Super Saiyan thing going on. Yeah. Well, uh, even that. It's just even their like overall like um, color scheme and everything. Yeah. I, yeah, they kind of have that whole like Asker look to it. Mm -hmm. Like it's very similar, which... Uh, I'm sure it'll be fine. I mean, the original characters thing was done in Hyrule Warriors with uh, Lana, Lana and Sia, and then it had, uh, and we'll get to this, but it had two other characters, the the two boss characters, uh, yeah. the Poe dude and the Fire Dragon guy. Technically, they weren't new, but yeah, were they not new? Well, the Fire Dragon guy is just a human version of Volvagia. Really? Yeah, I did not know that. Same way, um. Uh, the thingy magic. I think that's. Meant, I can't remember what it was meant to be, but it's definitely like an well, enemy it was from a, a Zelda game. Yeah, it was a Poe. It was supposed yeah. to be like a Poe, but it's like a, it was like a special, like it's like yeah. per, real Poe, not just like a generic. Yeah, a big Poe. Uh, yeah, but yeah, so that's nothing new. I don't think. I think that was kind of. We probably should have expected that, and I think us trying to like keep keep it sort of insular with mm. our store with our story prediction was a little bit uh. A little bit short-sighted, especially considering how Fire Emblem Heroes turned out. Yeah, but yeah. I didn't expect them to make avatars, because remember, this is the type of game which is meant to be a celebrate. Well, it was meant to. Warriors games are meant to be a celebration of like the entire franchise. So well, I thought they'd just pull characters from everything, because they've got more than enough uh, you know, people to pick from. So we'll, having we'll, get, we'll, we'll get to that. Yeah. We'll get to that in a second. I mean, second, with Zelda, it made sense, because Zelda's roster is pretty tiny. Right, Zelda's so pretty you had tight. to, you know... In, find a way to do it. I reckon Fire Emblem they could have easily done it yeah. just using the, their pre-existing characters. I mean, I guess what they're the way they're going is you know because it's you know while they said it's like and we're gonna we'll talk about this later, but you know they said it's the most characters for the first installment of a collab. Yeah. Uh, it's you know it that's still not a high number. Yeah, it's uh, not. That's still gonna be a lot. It's good. It's like I think like I think the most was like eighteen or maybe something like that. To yeah. start with, and this is before yeah. I think you know it's before DLC, yeah, the top starting yeah. roster. So it's probably gonna be like twenty or something, which is mm. not a high number. Yes, well, so might be that's a high probably a for... very diff. That's yeah. a difficult thing to pull a lot of characters from, but that's beside the point. Mm -hmm. um, we'll talk we... about that later. The next point uh, is something that we actually talked about a bit. Uh, Fire Emblem series mainstay weapon triangle and class systems exist in Fire Emblem Warriors. It is efficient to attack. Uh, and this is actually a typo. Uh, it's, it is efficient to attack an archer with a Pegasus Knight. It's actually the other way around. I think that was an error in the translation. Yeah, because that made uh, no sense. Yeah, it's an error in the translation, so it's the other way around. But that's well, a good well, thing. Well, technically, think... it's not the worst thing in the world to attack a Pegasus Knight with an archer, because the archers no, can't not. retaliate. Well, yeah, it's just like, make yeah. Unless uh, it's Echoes. Just as long as they're in range and they can make the kill. But that's beside yeah. the point. Um, you know, the important thing here is that you know the weapon triangles here they've Which, got like at they like 
you know strategy elements from the Fire Emblem games, and I think that later they have like other stuff that's like from the Fire Emblem series, which, which I think I, we talked about. Yeah, I know but that sounds like the class system we, we were down with, but Weapon Triangle sounds weird to me because Dynasty Warriors, high, like here, um, Warriors type games, is less about you know which weapons can beat each other, more how big of a combo can you pull off. It really doesn't matter like weapon advantages at the end of the day. You're kind of invincible anyway. Uh, that's not entirely the case. Um, I think because because remember, uh, technically, Hyrule Warriors also had a weapon triangle. Yeah, it did, but even then, the it was kind of mi- like minuscule with like when certain ele- weapons did um did different elemental damage. But again, it was pretty minuscule. I think maybe on the easier modes, but like on like on like. The, on like the harder on the harder difficulties and like the uh, and like the harder adventure maps, I think uh, it was very useful, especially okay, against then. certain enemies. Uh, okay, then that, that's fair enough. So, so yeah, Weapon I Triangle, think it makes it's sense. a cool. It is a, definitely a cool idea. I just wonder how they're actually going to implement it and whether it would be like a major thing or a minor thing. I reckon it'll be a minor thing. Uh, I think it'll like depend on the weapon. I think I don't know. We'll we'll have to see. Uh, mm-hmm. And you know we'll we'll talk about more of that eventually. Yeah, but they also said stuff. they've confirmed archers, mages, archers and cavaliers and mages are confirmed. Yes, and cavaliers That's, as well, and calves. Yeah, which this uh, is also uh, puzzled me. Apparently they're um, permanent horseback, so you can't like get off them or anything. Yeah, I mean that's. There are, well, I mean that's expected that because that's like how the newer games work. Like you haven't been able to you haven't been able to mount and dismount since I think FE four, right? Yeah, I, um, yeah, it's true. It's just that because I've um, when they did um, the Arsenal crossover, you could get on and off horses. When you were on horses, it was great for movement, but it made fighting kind of clunky. So I wonder how they're going to make it work in this game. I mean, they had Link ride a horse. Like that's uh, true. Uh, that's Epona true. was one of his weapons, and I think that worked fine. Okay, fair probably. enough. Maybe they just botched so, it for the other game. <laughs> perhaps, or maybe they got it right. Well, no, who knows? Mm-hmm. Uh, next thing, uh, intelligence system is supervising on things such as character settings. That's a given, I think. It just means they're just making sure that the, the settings and the characters stay true to, you know, the source material. Mm-hmm. That makes sense. Uh, next thing is something I like, and it's also something I like from Echoes, which is there will be a huge fully voiced script, which means everything will be voiced. Yeah, that's that and the fact I really there like. Will be, there will be actual, uh, like, Bond conversations, which we yes, didn't think would happen. Yes, that's another point. There's, we guess what we, I guess we could talk about, about that now. We do have support conversations, cross-title which, support conversations, which is very, very much appreciated. That's something yeah. I really wanted, but never thought that we'd actually get. And they, they, that's a good thing. That is a good thing, especially because some people did point out in the video, like Gundam series did like those type of support things. So I'm glad Fire Emblem is you know, staying yeah. true and doing that. And I think it's really good. And I think even though, which we'll talk about later, the roster's limited, I do think some of the characters that will be able to cross support will be pretty cool. I think, mm-hmm. you know, Minerva, like Minerva, um, what was it, Minerva talking to Shush and going on about how her <laughs> woman is Minerva. Yeah, yeah. There's going to be, there's going to be a ton of things like that. And, you know, the th- they said like, there's going to be like goofy support conversations and some serious ones. Yeah, I want to see the Robin and Crumb support. Make, which makes sense because that's kind of how like, you know, the Awakening that's how support, supports work. That's how supports work. Some are goofy, yeah. some are serious. Some are goofy, Though I'd love to see serious. the Robin and Crumb and Corrin support where Robin's just like, you're a disgrace to the tactician. You're a disgrace <laughs> to the avatar. I mean, we know that's not going to happen because, you know, the games are all about sucking the avatar's dick, but, you know, mm. that's that neither yeah, here nor there. Yeah, but there's only room for one avatar in this I love how, game. I, I love how they have to clarify that there is no marriage or a love system in the game. Yeah. I love how they have to clarify that, like, yeah. as if, uh, like, if, if if they don't clarify that, everyone's going to assume that. Because so we'll have to kill the hopes of Mar- Martha and Lucina crossbreeding. Oh, my God. Don't even... <laughs> That would be a nightmare. Yeah. So, what, what would the baby look like? Uh, I don't know. Is there like a deeper shade of blue? Yeah. <laughs> Is there like a deeper shade of dark blue? What are they gonna call it? Are they gonna like? Are they call it gonna call like um, Larf or Musina? <laughs> All right. I think it's. I think it's about time we we talk about the elephant room. It's the next point. Yeah. Characters that appear are generally from Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon and the Blade of Light, as well as Fire Emblem Awakening and Fire Emblem Fates. This won't be a gathering of the protagonists from across the series. I don't get your logic! <laughs> <laughs> You're stupid! 
dead. <laughs> now we did say in the video that those three would definitely be confirmed. We were not surprised that this would we be that. Also, okay, but we also said that we we specifically said we don't want that to be the only the yeah, case. Yeah, that's true. I mean, that's it, this is specifically yeah. what we didn't want. I know. I mean. I didn't exp I do not I wouldn't even even in an ideal game we wouldn't get every character we wouldn't get like no, the yeah, most we obscure were, we ones were, we were pretty conservative I think but like we the were fact generally that like pretty conservative. no alive no Tellius at launch like no Ike in a Fire Emblem Warriors that's game that's really like, disappointing fucking it's really serious disappointing. now there is like some argument about the phrasing of that state of that statement that uh that that appear first of all there's the characters that appear are generally yeah from Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon and awakening now that could mean two things that could mean that you know they're also including the the original characters that we talked about before uh mm -hmm. shan and leon um or they could be say like okay just the protagonists aren't gonna it's not gonna be like the protagonists like they're not gonna have ike or but that's kind Lin. of silly because that's the people you want to play as now yeah but there's actually something to bring up later and i'm going to talk about that but uh -huh. Let's just we'll stay on this point for now because but I think the overall thing is the the like majority of the cast will just be the those three games. The They're going to overshadow everything Shadow else. Shadow Dragon, Awakening, and Fates. Yeah, which is severely disappointing. It it's is very disappointing. I hear a lot of people saying like, "Oh, my hype's killed for the game," and I can see why. Especially yeah, if you're, it brings like, down my hype fan. level a little bit. It does kind of bring down my hype level a little bit. I'm still excited for the game because, you know, it's, I wanted this even before I played those games. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, and I I've wanted I like the Awakening well. and Fates cast. Like, there's nothing wrong yeah, with like, that I, cast. I, I, lo I love those two casts, but Fire Emblem's so huge. And I know people constantly bring up the argument, well, Hyrule Warriors um, only did three Zelda games for that, their and fame. And it's a valid argument. And but it, here's the thing. But, Zelda's cast is nothing compared to Fire Emblem's. They had yeah. to really... Like, even the DLC, they had to really scrape the bottom of the barrel just to get the cast in there. Fire Emblem, you could fill up, like, a good chunk of the cast with just two games. And you've got 14 to pick from. Yeah, yeah. You have you could pretty, you could pick, you could, I mean, you could theoretically pick one game. And, and you've make a Warriors game cast. on this. Yeah. You could, yeah. Like, the Awakening or Fate's cast could be its own game. Shadow Dragons could be its own game. Yeah, like nearly all of them. Even Echoes could be its own game. Exactly, but the fact that you're limiting it to this just yeah. small minority is, now, a, is a bit annoying and very alien, alienating yeah. as well. Now, here's one thing I thought about, and it's interesting because, you know, this, is, this game's going to be on the Switch, and the Switch does have Amiibo functionality. Yeah. So what I'm thinking is maybe they're, while they're, while, like most, while they say generally it's going to be Shadow Dragon, Awakening, and Fates... Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if the Ike and Roy amiibos would be compatible to maybe unlock either. I don't know if they'd unlock a character like the character itself, or maybe like the ability to use Ragnell. Yeah, like or, the weapons and stuff. Yeah, or I, Binding Blade I, or something. I'd go more weapons because I think locking the characters behind amiibos is a real scumbag. Yeah, that's move. A, that is a scummy move, and that is what you know they didn't do that. You know what they did for Hyrule Warriors is they had like the spinner and. Yeah. Uh, different weapons and stuff they have the spinner and certain weapons uh locked behind the amiibos yeah well, uh so you know they did that mm -hmm. so i suppose it makes sense it doesn't make sense for them to hide characters behind that but you know yeah but at, at the same time if they aren't if they are going to do the route where they're going to introduce more characters they're going to pile on the be, dlc it's going to be dlc and if echoes is any evidence it might be real it's going to be yeah it's going to be a lot of dlc uh yeah, which you is know, and I've always said that the Hyrule Warriors DLC was like a pretty decent DLC. Practice. Yeah, but that's because like again they had the main cast, the characters you cared about at the beginning. Everything else was just extra. Well, Here, it depends on it depends on what they have because they also you know the Hyrule Warriors DLC also had the adventure mode maps, which added a ton of yeah. Content. That's true. Um, so if Fire we, like yeah. if Fire Emblem Warriors has something like that, like we mentioned in the video, mm -hmm. then I could see them adding like a couple characters and then like all that content for it. Yeah, and extra story uh, maps, then I would totally be down with that. But that's also a good point. Because they're not pulling from um, the other games, the stories, like the story of um, and the setting of this game is probably going to be kind of bleh. I mean, uh, well, that's, well, that's the thing. It, looks, it seems like these like original characters are going to play like, like kind, they're going to like play the role of what Link, Zelda, and Impa played in Hyrule Warriors. Mm -hmm. like, the story will mostly focus on them. And then, you know, there'll be, like, 
a couple stages for like the other where the other characters get introduced to help them out, but it's yeah. mainly going to be focused on these original characters. True, but it just feel- makes sense. It, is, but it also feels like a missed opportunity because you have the uh, a, a, a Fire Emblem game which has the potential to explore all these different realms and have all these character interactions, and you only limit it to three, two of which yeah. are li- literally in the same universe. Right. I mean, yeah. I mean, that's. I mean, well. Te- I mean. Yeah, but they're, they're they're separated a lot by time. I know that's true, thing. but it's Shadow not like Dragon where Telly is by like a ton of time, so it might they might as well not be from the same un- universe. I know, but it's not like Telius and Alive, which are two completely different universes. Yeah, I mean the only thing is like Fates is kind of like weirdly connected to Awakening somehow. It's forcefully connected. It's yeah. So like apart from you know, mm-hmm. y- y- you know, but like apart from Sever and Ego and Owain, there's you know, and also the the children. Right. Um, but um, I also did you hear the excuse they made about the finger just? Oh, how they let's didn't... talk about that. that. That bullshit excuse. Seven point eight out of ten. Too many swords. Uh, <laughs> Is that what they're thinking? Yeah, too many swords. Apparently, they didn't want to um to pull a lot of characters from other games because there'll be too many sword users and, and like in the lords. And we literally just said, "Did you forget Ephraim and Hector were a thing?" Ephraim, Hector, Micaiah. Yeah. Like Selica uses magic. Selica uses magic. Alm uses bows. Mm. Just like did Ella you guys? Would rides a horse. Yeah, exactly. Sigurd rides a horse. Sigurd rides a horse too. <sighs> did, did they completely forget that this was a thing? I think they did. I think God. they just like looked. I think they looked at. No, here's what I did. I think they looked at the Smash Bros. cast. Yeah. And just like every one of these people uses a sword. I think we should just like not use any of the lords because they all have swords. Ugh. You sons I of know, bitches. I know that's not true. I know that's not true. I'm sure that the people who make the who are in charge of this game are trying to make this you know loyal to Fire Emblem as much as they can, or at least from what they're you know. Well, what trying. they're given. Yeah. Yeah, I like you know there are some certain. Fire Emblem cynics who I won't mention who tend to think that like you know very cynically about the people you know at in- intelligence systems and I don't like to think that way no I don't it's, it's I, disrespectful I think, to the people who make the game yeah I think the fact that echoes is a thing shows that they care yeah yeah of course no no one sets out to make a bad game or even a disappointing game it's just things Fates happen that wasn't you can't ma- predict wasn't, came, wasn't made to be a bad game or to be a, a disappointing game they were trying to make something good and you know they just Fell it didn't meet everyone's expectations. These, yeah, right. It just yeah. fell flat in a couple areas because of certain circumstances. Yes. Yeah. How I mean, they, to be fair, works. they were. They, I doubt they made Awakening knowing that it was going to be a smash hit. They just threw everything out there, like let's just hope for the best. Yeah. The, the, no one. No one tries to make a bad game. No one's. No one does this. Oh, they're going to be this whole like idea that corporate like most that I mean, there's some corporations that are like this, but I, this this whole idea that like mm-hmm. intelligence is like oh this will. It'll be all fan service and it's all we're gonna get all the views. Mwahaha. It's No, but also you've got to consider seems... while the developers want to do stuff, you've got to consider what they can do and how the head honchos intervene, because at the end of the day they're the one funding yeah, the project. Right, right. It's right. It's there's a lot of like upper management uh, Yeah, stuff we don't know about. Interference and yeah, stuff that and this stuff kinda of just happens. But that's yeah. You know, I think first, all right, let's go back to the two swords excuse. I mean, the yeah. two swords excuse, because I think, you know, it is a bullshit excuse. Let's not deny that. Yeah, that is a bullshit excuse. Um, the real excuse, from what I can either, I can tell, is is one of two things. DLC mm-hmm. or sequel potential. Because, let's be real here, I think Fire Emblem, I mean, I mean Hy- Hyrule Warriors wasted all of the sequel potential. Because, yeah, because, um, well, again, I didn't think, because most of it was just DLC, but even then... Again, it has such a small roster that you don't have much to go off once you've got the main cast in. Right. And then, Whereas Fire know, Emblem and then, and does. then they came out with Legends, and then mm-hmm. it was even more DLC. Yeah. So they pretty much wasted all their sequel potential. Yeah, but Dynasty, War- yeah, but Dynasty Warriors, Warriors also... Yeah. Um, I know it has a lot of sequels, but they're essentially just DLC. Yeah. I mean, So I don't know how they're going to do with this one, but for Fire Emblem Warriors, I was just expecting more from the beginning. Not everything, just a bit more than only three casts. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong, I love the cast, but, you know, and I think the fact that some of the big ones, like Ike is not there, is a real kick to the crotch. That's a, that's a little, yeah. It's like. Like, what, oh, it's hold on. Little... Why is Intelligence Systems beef with Ike? Because it took him so long to get into Heroes, and now like, he's not even, even, like even the... in. 
even either Elib or Tellius. Not like just just the one. Not even Roy's in the game, and Roy's like, huge. Even, even heroes had Elib characters at launch. Yeah. You know? Yeah, they had Lin, they had um Elwood and everything. But like yeah. no uh, like this like no, no Iker. It didn't have you know, it didn't have Path Reigns, but it at least had Elib. Now we just don't get any of that for Yeah, and I still question how the first Tellius character was Sonic of all people. I I I think they just weren't thinking. Yeah, it's like, eh, fuck it. Yeah, all right. Let's. There's a couple more points that came in later in the day after that bit of information. Yep. So let's go with that. Uh, first point is just, uh, I think it's uh, Martha's voice by Hikaru Miturukawa. Carl's voice by Tomokazu Sugita. And probably uh, get, do you think we get the English dub? I don't know. I don't know. I hope so. Because Echo's uh, got head of, has a really good English dub. Oh, Echo's has a great English dub. Uh, we could talk about that after we're done with this. But uh, yeah, but, um, some Warriors games are completely, you know, Japanese. Like the Austin awesome yeah. one, I've got is completely Japanese. I would hope that this that's not the case with this one, because um, mm-hmm. I don't want to. Because you know, that was the one of the things when I, you know, I played Tokyo Mirage Sessions. I was very disappointed that they didn't got yeah. English I'd, dub. I'd love to hear Moth speak like proper English in a support conversation. Yeah. Absolutely, I'd love to, you know, uh, yeah. you know, especially because Marth has an English voice actor now. It's Yuri yeah. Lowenthal. Yeah, co- it was in codename uh, Steve, right? And I'd love right? to hear more Matt Mercer as Krom. Uh, mm-hmm. He's always great in just about everything. Yeah, just hear so, all the other characters interacting as well. Yeah, that would be fantastic. It would be. Um, but it, it also makes me upset. No, no, I can Hector support, and for you, no yeah. Severa and Severa support. It's no Severa, no Severa and Sarah. Uh, yeah, that's gonna. That's just, just, just that hurts. Tell me, are there any are there any Sundere characters in Shadow Dragon? I don't actually know. Most of the most of the characters in Shadow Dragon don't have character. <laughs> oh no! Great. Okay. Yeah. Unless you want a uh, a Selena and Severa support, I don't know how that's going to work. I don't know how, how the fuck do you even do that? <laughs> Time paradox. That's how. Though Odin paradox. and Wayne support that'd be pretty cool. Please, I kind of, I kind. There's like, a, I know that would be really dumb, but there's like a small part of me that really wants that. Yeah, it's just arguing it's the with myself. It's the really dumb part of me, but I still want it. Hey, they said silly support conversations were a thing. Anything's possible. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, mm. What's the other thing? Uh, this yeah, also, so, um, also, that's going to be a really sucky because we're going to have to deal with some of the crappiest fire emblem villains. Yeah, like the shadow dragon ones are kind of boring. And less said about Thanks I mean, Awakening, the better. I mean, we'll get Validar and, uh, Validar and what's his face? Gangrel? No, the one from Shadow Dragon. Um, M- Medeus? Yeah, Garnet Garn- from Medeus. Yeah. And so probably Anankos. Yeah, yeah but, we'll probably get but that, all of them. But that, that, that's nothing to be excited about. No, it's not. <laughs> Unless. You know what? You know what would be kind of interesting, though? Like, if they had Garen as a playable character. And I'd like to play as Garen, there's no play question. As him, but, you know, the other thing is they could do with him is if he has his own support conversations. Oh, we could we actually be, flesh him out? We could actually, like, flesh out Garen a little bit. <laughs> yeah, make which him... Which is desperately needed. It is desperately needed. The that potential's there. That would be kind of interesting. I would, I would be okay with that. If I would, I would definitely be okay with that. Um, you could even make Makoto a character if you... Um, a playable yeah, character if you wanted. Kind of. Uh... Anyway, uh, there are two more original characters which they don't show. Yeah, they haven't announced them yet. I think they're. I think you could see them in like some of the pictures, but Mm -hmm. like they don't have like a clear render like in this picture. Do you think Uh, they'll be um, like just avatars or maybe rival characters? No, because they're named. Mm. The Darius and Yuana are the names. I think you know because they have. It seems like they have a name and a design. So I don't know. Okay, but what what's their purpose going to be? Because we've already got the two main leads. Um, Unless they're no going to be idea. like maybe two maybe they're maybe they're the two boss characters who knows yeah that's what I was thinking so they, they play the they're like the seer yeah maybe, so that mean one uh, of them's going to have a really fan service design original, they might be like the original villains we'll see yeah. I don't know does, does that mean one really of them's going to have a, about them does that mean one of them's going to have a really fan service design I think design. a lot of this stuff will become clear when E three comes around and yeah we need a trailer we'll probably do another video then yeah but we need that trailer. Yeah, but we'll probably, hear a, we'll probably hear a ton of news at E3. Hopefully. Yeah, but also at the same time, it's coming out, it's 70% complete, so... That's that's the next point, yeah. Film yeah. 70% complete, which can be a good sign, but that very much depends on when the game was started. Yeah, and if we don't find out much more information, this is going to be a really bare-bones game. Yeah, that... Like, we'll that, have that, the campaign that's, and that's it. That's And that's worrying. But, that's you know, very we'll, worrying. We'll have to see, because, you know, Hyrule Warriors didn't reveal a whole much of anything until E3. But it did have an adventure either. mode, at least. Yeah. Yeah, so, Yeah, Hyrule you know. Warriors had its own direct. 
Exactly, exactly. Or Fire Emblem itself had its own direct, so I don't know. Well, sorry, I meant to say Hyrule Warriors had its own direct. Yeah. And so, I don't know, we might get something like that, like, around, I don't know, trying to, like, July, August, I would well, assume, if we ever get that. Yeah, well, um, hopefully E3 will get, like, um, we'll probably get a trailer. And we'll probably get a trailer in the Mar- main, Yeah, I reckon uh, it will show off Martha and some of the other characters. And then we'll probably get, it'll probably get its own direct later on. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe like a month or two later because that's kind of how I think that's how it worked for Hyrule Warriors yeah uh, anyway the project wasn't planning before for me to collaborations Muso title survey so this was before they were actually gonna they were making this game they were like planning this game before they even launched that survey asking people what they want out of a, uh, out of a new Warriors collaboration yeah and somehow we got this I mean it makes sense but wasn't this like third in the poll uh, yeah, fair enough. No, I meant like we um what I've, I've meant like um what they actually wanted from a Fire Emblem Warriors game. I mean, they didn't they didn't make, they make a poll oh. on what they wanted from a Fire Emblem just Warriors which, game. Just, just which like, crossover they wanted. Like, yeah. like they like they just had like a it was like a survey. So there, there was yeah. like fa- Final Fantasy in there and like mm-hmm. a whole bunch of animes in there. Star Fox. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how that would work. Yeah, that's like they they got really dig deep for that one. Oh yeah, I don't think they could pull that off. Uh, anyway, uh, first thing that was decided was to do a, a Warriors game that Fire Emblem fans would enjoy. Mm-hmm. That's a that's a quote. <laughs> <laughs> they use the term "enjoy" very loosely. Enjoy. Hmm. And yeah, well, a specific group of fans. Well, no, to be fair, I reckon anyone will no, enjoy sure this game. It's just will enjoy the game. It's just like. There's it's kind some... of it's really squandering just how great it could be. It's squandering potential. Lots it's of potential, and they're, they're probably going to go the scumbag route of oh, you want to play as um, Erica and you want to play as Lynn? Give us more money. Would be, would be the worst. Would be even more scummy if all the DLC was more Fates and Awakening stuff. You know what would be even do? more scummy is if they did the day one DLC thing. I would be so angry. Mm, I don't know if Nintendo's about that. Although, I well, guess... Well, because Echoes has day, Echoes day one DLC. Echoes has day one DLC, yeah. yeah. But that's like... But most of that DLC is just like grinding DLC and stuff. Yeah. So um, if it's like... Again, if it's like like free, simple DLC that's day one, that's fine. But if it's like a whole campaign, it's like day one that you got paid for, I'd be like... I think... I think I think part of the reason for that is just because they wanted to have something for DLC so that they don't end up in a, like a Festival of Bond situation mm-hmm. where it takes like forever to localize it. Fair enough. That, that they probably just want to give more content because it seems like with the fact that this was this, these were two were released like a month apart, like the Japanese version and the English version. Oh yeah, that's true. It seems like they want to avoid that kind of like localization gap that Fates and Awakening had. Oh, that localization gap was terrible. Yeah, it seems like they they want to avoid that with future Fire Emblem games, which I hope they do. Which is I mean, nice they, in yeah. a certain way. Yeah, they're doing it. If, they've, they've done it really well with Pokemon. Yeah, it seems like they they've gotten that they've gotten that down. Yeah. So if it takes like you know, I'm okay with like a month. A month just not is fine. Just not f- like in my like, case, like half, it's like, like half a year is yeah. like at that point because then like you get a, like a fate situation where like all the controversy surrounding it, you get a whole yeah. bunch of negative, and you're completely games, spoiled you know? as well by on everything. Right. You give a lot of people a lot of time to get spoilers, so that's kind of a pain in the ass. It is a pain in the ass. Yeah. So anyway. It was like, yeah. It was nice to go into Echoes otherwise blind. Yeah, I liked going into that. I was pretty blind. Uh, I only knew one thing about post game, but that's it. Uh, I don't know if you finished the game yet. Or um, I'm near the end of Act Four. Okay, so I won't say anything. Okay. Um, no, apparently the post game is. Don't say it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to you can... cut that out. Yeah. <laughs> Spoilers. All right, cut cut that out. Cut yeah. that out. We're not. Don't include that. Okay. Cut. Uh, Anyway, um, next thing. The weapon triangle, high strategy elements, and classes that are a mainstay in the Fire Emblem series are in. Yeah, I wonder now, how, like... first thing we already talked about. This. The other thing, high strategy elements and classes. That's an interesting one. Yeah, I wonder how, like, how much each class will really affect um, when they're fighting. Like, will archers just, like, decimate Pegasus knights? Or will, like, like will well, knights be able to, like, like just be in, like, otherwise immobile? I don't know. Again, we're gonna have to see E3 to see how that'll work, but yeah. uh, that's an interest. I think that's an interesting thing that they bring up. The fact that there's like they bring up classes like that wouldn't be like mm-hmm. like I don't I don't know, I doubt it'll be like the system we brought up, but you know it'll 
you know, there's, it'll be something. There's something. So I'm to wondering that. if they're trying to focus too much on strategy elements in this game because remember these are meant to be just like crazy hack and slashes. I doubt it. I mean, judging from what little gameplay we've seen, yeah, it's, it's still going to be like that. That's that is true. So you know, I I sincerely doubt that they're I, did, going they, too they hard. They really need to just show us more. They can tell us all this stuff, but unless I mean, we see it in action, they will really show us them. more. And the fact that the the fact that they're showing us this now means that they have they've got something to show. Yeah. So uh, I hope it's not only just this stuff in Famitsu. I hope there's more. But yeah, I do we'll hope see. there's more. But they're probably keeping a closed lid on it, uh, especially because all the focus has been on heroes and echoes right now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we already went through the too many swords thing. Uh, you can switch characters while playing, so you'll be able cool. to control various weapons and classes of characters. I like that. That's, That's very cool. That's a feature that was in Hyrule Warriors Legends, which I really, really wanted to be ported over to the console version, and they never did, and I'm still salty about that. <laughs> Koi! God damn it. No, you know, they will port it, but you got to pay for it. No, they didn't. They did not port it. So no. it's just like... So, like... The console version is actually the inferior version of the game. Yeah, but it looks so much nicer. It does look so much nicer, but it's, even though it has all the DLC characters, it doesn't have the, new, it doesn't have the story maps. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have like the new adventure maps. Yep. It's just it's the inferior version of the game. So I wonder which Some, version is going to because because I, I know that um, Farm Wars is also going to be on the 3DS. So I wonder is that going to be like just like a I mean no because that's because that's different because yeah. I because High Warriors Legends time. was a port. Mm-hmm. Uh, whereas these are these are developed uh, side by side, yep. so I think that's going to be a little bit of a different case. It'll be probably more like Smash 3DS mm-hmm. than Smash Wii U, rather than the what? So everyone plays the 3DS one for a few months, and then just puts it away forever. Yeah, maybe I'm thinking maybe the 3DS version will come out first, and then the Switch version will come out. But I don't know. Yeah, it'd be kind of pointless to release it at the same time because everyone would just get it for the Switch, especially because Switch is partly handheld. Yeah, but I don't know. At the same time, I feel like they want to if they want to sell the Switch, which I think they do, mm-hmm. they want to release the Switch version first. Yeah, well, I don't I don't think Hyrule Final Wars is going to be a massive seller for the Switch, but like Hyrule Warriors, it'll probably just shift no, a good amount of units. No, because it's probably going to have to compete with Super Mario Odyssey, which oh, is another yeah. problem in and of itself, mm-hmm. but that's beside the point. Well, even, um, yeah, but Warriors games have never been like c- c- console sellers, so to say. No, no. They've been it'll good be, selling games. Don't get me wrong. It'll be the it'll be the the, the FE sixteen which determines whether Fire Emblem has a you know yeah. life cycle on the Switch. Uh, yeah. Anyway, what's next? Uh, the number of okay, we talked about this. The number of playable characters is more than the first entry of any Fire Warriors series collaboration. We said this already. So they said it was about eighteen characters. That's like six per game. Say it's eighteen. I mean, it's gonna be more than eighteen characters because mm-hmm. eighteen is like the the. I think I think eighteen is the maximum they have so far. Yeah, I could be wrong. On I could that could be wrong. So but it'll be like twenty twenty five. Okay, so assume. I'm gonna say about what eight characters per game. Eight. Assuming there's not any, there's assuming there's an even balance, which I'm not sure that's the case. Actually, I don't think there will be. I reckon Shadow Dragon would even get shafted. I mean. Because I reckon they'll do. Who's like, important in Shadow? Who has a character in Shadow Dragon? Minerva does. Marth Minerva, does. C- um, C- Shida does. Kata. And Camus does. Camus. That's about four. Hey, we got Echo's characters. Camus is in the game. True. Hey. And uh, to be fair, the Pegasus sisters. May hope that the Pegasus sisters get in. I'm okay yeah. with S getting the game. Yeah, S is cool. Um, like Kane and Abel, kind of. Jacob, uh, if you want to stretch. Yeah, I guess. We'll see. Yeah, but even then, I, I reckon... I guess it all depends. But yeah, I don't know. We'll ha- again, like that's another one we'll have to see. And here you said archers and magic users will be playable. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't like. I'm. I keep going thinking back to the classes comment and like thinking, what does that mean? Like, because like they say art, like that they can't. How many archers and mage users can they have? That that's a selling point. That's true. Yeah. I mean, granted, they'll fight differently and stuff like that, but yeah. it won't be like a, a ma- like even the, in Hyrule Warriors, everyone had a different play style. But at the end of the day, you still just kind of did the same thing, just yeah, different so combos and stuff. I can't think of how that would actually like unless like work. I, and again, I don't know how they're going to introduce classes in a way unless it like massively affects the gameplay. But then it wouldn't really feel like a Warriors game. No, it's it, it again, and we I, again, we just really need to see how this all plays out. Yeah, that's that's. I think E E three is gonna be a very big thing for Fire Emblem Warriors. Well, if if they show it, 
They will show it. They, they will definitely it. show it. They will absolutely. They would be stupid not to show it. This is Nintendo. They can do stupid shit. That's true. Nintendo has made Nintendo moves. Yeah, as we are well familiar with. Oh, yeah. Uh, Next thing is about the story, actually. While Koei Tecmo can't share details on the world yet, there is a shield of fire in this world that is tuned, uh, that is turned, I assume that's a typo, yeah. turned up from beyond sp- space and time. Mm-hmm. Well, Which, shield of fire, I just think the fire emblem for, like, you know, Shadow Dragon and Awakening. I'm going to assume that's the thing in the te- in the teaser trailer. Yeah. It's just with the fire em- the new version of the fire emblem. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, I mean, there's not much that you could take from that. I think it's just like, oh, yeah. This World is hopping. why the older characters are here. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> what, about, what about what about all those guys over there? Now we don't acknowledge them. No, no. What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, while Koei Tecmo can't share deep... Oh, that's the same one. I just read that. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Units that ride a horse, such as the Cavalier, always fight on horse. Mm-hmm. They're designed to have high mobility. Yeah. So, I reckon, high mobility... I, are actually, they, I think, are now that I think about faster? it... Yeah, they'll they'll be move faster. So they can get across, yeah. so they get across the map faster, I guess. Yeah. Now that I think about it, I think the classes. I think because of how the class system is set up, the game is really going to focus, uh, emphasize character switching. So at certain situations, you switch to the class to tackle a bit, and then just um, do something else as like a different class. Yeah, that might, that might make sense. It'll be so like very... travel with cavaliers, take down knights with mages, take down pegasus knights with archers, switch to a lord when you just need to fight mercenaries and stuff like that. Yeah, well, I guess we'll just have to see how that plays out. Yeah, but Again. that would make a lot of sense. Yeah. And then the last thing is just bond conversations are being prepared to support conversations. There's a huge amount of text, including mm-hmm. serious conversations and goofy conversations. Well, what, I, what I'm most interested in, I really don't care for support conversations between characters we already know and already have supports. I want to see cross I mean, I'm sure there's going to be those. There will yeah. be those, I'm sure. You know. Like, you know, I'd like to see Lucina and Marth support. I'd like to see, you know, Minerva and Shersh support. I'd like to see, I don't know, I'm trying to think. Just like other characters from a final game, like Camus and Xander support. Yeah, Camus and Xander would be interesting. Like, that that's, that would be a good one yeah. to go by because Cam, Camus is basically Xander and Xander's yeah. basically Camus. No, I imagine the support between Fadri and Camilla. How much money can we make with, how much money can we make? <laughs> Billions. <laughs> How much do you love the Avatar? I bet I love my Avatar more than you love yeah, your Avatar. Yeah, my Avatar's better than your Avatar. <laughs> <laughs> your Avatar is shit. Your Avatar is shit. I can your see wife, you get, yeah. Your husband is shit. shit. It'd, be a, it'd be like the best, worst support conversation ever. Yeah. That's gonna... I, that's, I think... That's something I'm... That's, part, that's one thing I'm very excited for the sport conversations because that's something you know, yeah that, you got that was the one thing that really... like bu- buffered the news that it's only gonna be those three games yeah it was like ah oh okay but at the same time also makes me upset it's like but if you had these other games you could have done yeah. so much more i mean that's another thing like if dlc if you know dlc that mm-hmm. that would be another selling point is to have like you get the character but you also get more supports yeah that'd be great but I hope they don't go nuts with the DLC because if they are going to include all the things, this is going to be like they're going to release the game. It's going to be about forty I mean, percent complete and then sixty percent DLC. The season pass of Hyrule Warriors wasn't that expensive, was it? Yeah, it's not. Yeah, but I don't um, think it was, I think it was, was it like twenty, thirty dollars? I think. True. Yeah, but again, Hyrule Warriors is already quite a complete game to begin with. This one, we can already tell, it feels kind of bare bones. I have, Warriors, it depends on the modes. Does, it depends I mean, on the modes. Warriors has had a small, um, let me see. I'm just trying to small roster. Find the Hero of Hyrule Pack. Yeah, the original the original season pass for the base game of Hyrule Warriors was twenty dollars, mm-hmm. and that came with uh, that was the Master Quest Pack, which had like a, the new story mode and another adventure map, uh, and then you got Epona, and then it came Twilight Princess, which was just Twilight Midna. And then the Majora's Mask pack, which had Tingle and Young Link. And then they had uh, the boss pack, which had like the boss challenge and stuff. Mm. And then they had the other season pass, which was uh, which was also $20 for the 3DS version. Yeah. Which okay, also the- gave you access to the, the new characters on the Wii U version. Mm. So the, the DLC for Hyrule Warriors wasn't really that expensive. No, it wasn't. Just- con- compared to the main game, at least. It was like half yeah. the price of the main game. 
Mm. I'm just uh, the one thing I'm wondering is that I think there might be um like like this game might be have too much DLC. Like Hyrule Warriors had quite a lot of DLC, but this game might have way too much, especially if they want to get all the characters in. If, but I have to wait yeah. and see. Because again, yes. starting with only three out of fifteen games, it does make you raise an eyebrow. Uh, I mean, it's again, it's. I, mean, I've, I know we're saying this for a lot of things, but I think it's too early to say, especially with talking about DLC before the game hasn't even launched. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I'm sure that they're they're probably gonna have like some announce some DLC plan before yeah. the game is launched. But uh, at this point, I, is... all I can say is until we actually see the game in action, I really don't know what to think. Because there's a lot of stuff that's yeah. been announced which I don't like. There's a lot of stuff I do like, but a lot of it I can't really determine until I actually see it in action. Yeah. So, I think that's all the information we currently have. There's, you know, the for me to scan show like a few pictures uh, shows shows Marth that uh, re- officially reveals Marth. Yeah, the two um new protagonists as well. New two new protagonists. I think there's like a picture of one of the third characters in there somewhere. I'm looking at like they're like in between. The uh, Xi'an Lian or whatever their yeah. names are, uh, but again, that's all what we have for now. Yeah. Would you make any ch- knowing all this information? Are there any changes that you think we could make to our original predictions video? Um, the only real changes I'd say is maybe I don't know if they would still do a guided mode. I mean, like I said, like you know, what. What Hyrule Warriors did with, like, the whole, like, you know, since it only, in terms of its character roster, they only honored three games, they had, like, other games represented in different ways. Yeah. Uh, you know, like, the Adventure Mode map itself was a take on the NES game, on the original NES game. Mm. I'm also um, wondering, like, also now wondering how many, like, they're going to pull a lot more, like, set pieces from Awakening Fates and Shadow Dragon because of how, remember we said how the levels would be split up between the different games, but there's less games, so they'll be more focused on the other levels, so I wonder what they do there, like, which um, levels well, would they... Well, those, those games do have some good set pieces. Oh, no they, doubt, you know, no doubt. I just wonder which ones they're really going to focus on. Right. They're going to focus on that, which I, I also, suppose yeah. makes sense. I also want to know if they're going to do the whole, like, um, whether... The class system is you just cl- click a generic one, have a skin, or each one is its own character. Yeah, that's what we hmm. still want. I think, yeah. uh, even if it's like, even if it's only fates and awakening characters in those classes, I still think that would be an interesting way to go. I still think it'd be the ideal way to go. Yeah, because if you're gonna do that, you could still they still have like a number of choice to pick from. In fact, you're even, I think you even condense that down. That actually makes a more efficient game in general yeah, because instead because of having to you, make you have unique, those three um, games mm-hmm. you have the you know you have a little more uh to work with very true uh more more to work with within that roster so you can have like a good variety yeah of those of characters within that's within those those games so i still want that i don't know if that would still be the case uh that's probably not judging by how this is going but mm. you know it's still possible Oh, yeah. hold out. Uh, There's a lot of things that are still up in the air in this game. Uh, yeah, and again, that's somewhat concerning, but you know, I'm still optimistic. Uh, yeah, I'm no doubt it'll be a fun game. It's just not the game we really wanted. Like, because we're really or at least excited it's not the for game this we game. wanted yet. It doesn't yeah. seem like the game we fully wanted yet. It's yeah. Either it... it'll be that when all the DLC is released, or it'll be that in a sequel. Yeah, true, yeah, but you that's, know that's how it's. It's also yeah. the fact that like um, quite a lot of people have wanted this game, and then when you like when you get cut, like even though there is some good stuff, when you get cut this deep, it does it does sting. Yeah, I do feel. Yeah, I do feel that. You know, I it, it kind of reminds me of, that kind of situation would kind of remind me of like Dragon Ball Xenoverse, mm-hmm. uh, where like the first game comes out and it doesn't have like everything that people want, and then like the second game comes out and it's you know pretty much like same controls same everything even like recycled content but it's just like a bunch of more characters some yeah. other stuff that's some pretty neat. so it feels like a Xenoverse so on, 1. Yeah. 1.5 that's what i kind of that's the vibe i'm kind of getting yeah from fire emblem warriors i think it also upsets people because fire emblem warriors should have been such a simple thing to do like it's just literally just grab every character from the universe and throw them in the dynasty warriors game i mean that's you can say that but that's i don't i mean Again, it's what we talked about before. Game development doesn't. Totally yeah, I know work that's like true. That. No, but I know that was that's what a lot of people 
would want. That's that's the ideal game that a lot of people are looking for. It's just not what we're getting. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, I know a lot of people are gonna expect both both of us to be all like salty and ragey, but nah, I'm not salty or ragey. Not, yeah, that's just not the kind of people we are. Like, mm. <laughs> I like to be a more positive person and just look at yeah. like look at the best in things. I mean, at the end of the day, it's still a Fire Emblem Warriors game. It's gonna be loads and loads of fun. It's just not everything we wanted but that's not how life is and that's not how every game is i mean a lot of people were disappointed with fates and they really went to town on how much they hated it yeah yeah exactly for I, me you know, yeah I, it fell flat in some areas but there's other stuff it did yeah, great I and i I'm appreciate gonna, what it did not, yeah i try to defend it at the possible opportunity if i can you know mm. i'm not gonna like suck not gonna sugarcoat its flaws you know of course but you know I, don't, I, don't, I think the people who say that though these kind of things are made to be like you know mm-hmm. are like cynically made or franchise uh, like ruining games is just that's a, so, a, so a stupid bit, dram- bit dramatic it means it means you're taking it personally and yeah. like we have yet to reach that we have you, we are, the Fire Emblem series has yet to reach the levels of Sonic 06 yeah once we we're reach not, that we're point then yet. we can start getting worse. we're not there yet yeah not when we close. get there you then you then you could start devolving into that yeah, level. but we're not there yet. We're cur- we're enjoying we're enjoying a period of success. Anything the possible. Series, yeah, and um, also in a in a, in an industry that is in the gaming current state of the gaming industry, and the fact that Fire Emblem almost died, the fact that it's still alive is amazing. We should be grateful. The fact that it's still not only still alive going. but alive and well. Yeah, the fact that it's thriving. The fact that we got it's echoes. More than people should be grateful before. as hell. You know, the- it's in a better. Sh- it's. Maybe not necessarily to what people want in terms of like you know story and direction, but in oh. terms of financial success and in terms of longevity for the and future, accessibility it's in a better well. success. Yeah, yes, it's in a better state than it's than it's ever, ever been. been. And it's clear based on echoes that at least people are listening. The you know intelligence systems are listening in yeah. some regard. Yeah, yeah, but not in every regard. You know, obviously they have their own creative liberties, but you know they're not. They're not ignoring Completely, a yeah, specific not, set of people or anything. Yeah, they're trying. They're to, trying to give. They're trying to give everyone as much as they as much as we want as they are able capable to. of. Yeah. That's what I. That's what I. That's what I like to think, at least. Yeah, and I appreciate what they do for that. I think. Yeah. I think that was the point of Fates. That's why Conquest and Birthright One was leaning more towards classic, yeah. one was more casual. I think it just. Yeah, it's, yeah. Just, it was just want done as well as people. People wanted it to be. Liked. Yeah, and then you know, Fates people, was hyped. Fan bases can be picky. But I think, can be very people, picky. I think Intelligent Systems wants to make a good, make, make good games, and they want to they want to please their fan base. Yeah, as much it's just as people the, yeah, them. Some there's stuff behind the scenes. Sometimes they just can't, you know, they can't um, change or um, say no to. Because remember, yeah. at the end of the day, while they are developers, they've got to, you know, up, they've got to, you know, li- live by certain rules. And that Nintendo said, what Nintendo says goes. Right, you know. Uh, it's like that for those developers. Think, yeah, and I think honest, that's probably a good point to end on. I think uh, it's a very positive point to end on. One, yeah. Oh, you know, I I do want to say one more thing. If this game is localized and dubbed, I hope it's I hope it's eight four. I hope it's eight four. Keep Treehouse away from this game. Please. Okay. Yes. <laughs> please. Anyway. But, I think yeah. that's I think that's it. That's all the information that we have. That's all we can really talk about. Uh, I mean, I'm still going to have loads of fun ripping people to pieces as uh, as Camilla, Tharja, Xander, and Leo. Of course, yeah. The, people forget like the, the, those are some interesting characters to well, to be to play as. So it'll still I, be fun. I'm actually kind of excited to play as Corin. You know, switch between dragon and stuff like that. That'd be cool. Yeah, I'm sure. Like you know, especially since his Smash Brothers incarnation yeah. has given him a lot, him or her a lot of moves. And I, I, oh, I can't imagine how beautiful they'll make like the Azora Those attacks. Will look fantastic. In yeah, like Azora's got like water attacks and just the way it like it's so smooth yeah. and everything. It's going to be amazing. Exactly. And that just proves you can make shit up if you. And again, Robin you swords and magic. That'll be. Yeah. That's going to look awesome. And yeah, there's pl- you know there's still plenty of. At, of, at its core, stuff. it's still going to be a great game. Not as much game. as people would have want. At its core, it's still going to be a great game. It's just not going to be the ideal game. Hopefully, it'll hopefully be a great. great. Game. We don't know yet. We hope. We yeah we we definitely have fingers crossed. But all we can say is uh, we need to see tra- We need to see another trailer so badly. Yes, definitely. And for the love of God, please put the villains in somehow. Like the you know, really good villains. Somehow. We'll see. Yeah. Give us Arvis, give us a feeling for the love of God, <laughs> give us the Black Knight. 
That's all I want. That's all yeah. I want, Nintendo. You're gonna please. have to wait till DLC, my dude. I will, I will gladly pay for that. I'll, I'll I pay. I pay for the Black Knight DLC. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Mm. I pay. Uh, I pay for. I, pl- I pay for Burkut DLC. Oh yeah, that. that, that you know, I can see people paying for that. I totally pay for Burkut DLC. Mm. Uh, but anyway, that's it. That's all. Uh, I'm actually. I'll probably have a video out, like a like a fully edited video. Uh, sometime the next week or two, hopefully. I've got some. I've got some stuff planned for Echo. It's not. A, it's not a custom support. It's actually just a. It's kind of like we. Kind of like your videos, Mister Knight. Okay. Top five. All right. Cool. Well, going, a bit, um, going a bit. Going a bit classic. Yeah. Well, um, I'm currently doing Monster Hunter. And but after that, I'm, I'm going to work as hard as I can on as, as many Echoes videos as I can do. Not as much as Fates, because I find there's less to talk about, but right, still yeah, stuff covering sense. Echoes. Be well, my that's... first thing's going to be a rant about just how Absolutely. good is the game. Uh, yeah, because there's like I think you know the people are currently in the hype phase. So yeah, that's the uh, thing. People are in the hype phase, but people are in the hype phase, but you know, I've 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 played Echoes. People, and... I'm looking at the subreddit. People are already starting to point flaws in the plot. I've already I've already seen some. It's not uh, only flaws in the plot. I think the one thing we can all agree, Echoes level design is pretty bad. Oh yeah, yeah. But we can. That's an entirely separate discussion. So we'll end it there. Yeah. Uh, thank you for joining me on this podcasty thing. No problem. It's wonderful to be here. And I'll see you guys next time. See you later.